so now let's see how to create an XML file where we from where we can just read the data what we want. So to create that file, just go to your package in your SRC and just say new and we need to create a XML file. So we'll say XML and then we'll choose XML file, we'll say next and then we'll name this name this as spring.xml. We can give any name, doesn't matter. And then uh, we'll be using some tags here. So the main tag we have to use is beans tag. Okay. And everything will be in this beans tag. So beans tag will be the root tag of your XML. Now, since we need a bean, so you, you can see we are asking for a bean. Okay. So we need to define this bean here. So to define this bean is we have to say bean, we have to mention ID equal to. Now that ID should be the ID I am mentioning here. So if you are mentioning vehicle, so it should be vehicle here. So we have vehicle here. Okay. And then we have to also mention the class. So from which class you want to create that. So we have to create from com dot navin dot telesco. Yeah. And then we have to close the bean tag. And that's it. So once you do this, you will get uh, your uh, your bin file or you will be you'll be getting your object of uh, vehicle hold on we have we have not mentioned the class name so we'll, we'll mention the class name as car okay that's your class now you have to mention that file somewhere right so in this application context and does double quotes you have to mention it is spring dot xml so that whenever you call for whenever you create object of this context it will go to the spring dot xml file just to load all the config configuration so now you know whenever you call for a vehicle, you will get a car. Right. Amazing, right? And but there is one problem. Whenever you work with XML, XML always go for the user-defined tags, right? Or pre or what do you say? Custom tags. And this custom tags needs a definition. Now you cannot write any tag and you you, you, you can just roam out roam with it. You, whenever you use a tag, you have to make sure that tag has a definition. Now from where you will get the definition? So you, you can look for different projects or you can just go to Spring website for the definition. I have already have the definition with me and this is the definition I have. So just copy this definition and paste it here. So you, will, you can get this from, uh, you can just Google it or you can just, you, you can go to the Spring website and you can download this definition. Okay, so this is the definition for the beans tag, okay? This one. Since I'm working with the Spring 4.0 version. So I'm using 4.0. So if you're working with 3.0 libraries, you have to mention 3.0. 4, 4, 4, 4 is the latest, uh, what do you say? Latest version for Spring here. And let's run this now. So if I run this, and boom. So I'm getting chal raha hai. And that's the magic, right? In this, I'm not mentioning anything. I'm, I'm not mentioning car. I'm not mentioning bike. It is totally independent. I'm injecting those objects from external location. So you can see if I if I change this to bike, okay, and if I run this, and then I'm getting bhagrai, which is for bike, right? But you will say, what's the big deal? If I, if I, if I want bike or car, I have to change something, right? But hold on, in the earlier version, we were changing the source code of Java. So whenever you say change the source code for Java, you have to recompile your files. This time we are changing the XML file. We don't have to recompile, we just have to say save. And that's the advantage of using Spring Framework. Okay, so that's the basic idea of how to use Spring code, how to achieve dependency injection. In the further videos, we'll talk about uh, how to set different properties, how to use multiple objects and object inside an object. So how to do that, that we'll see in the further tutorial. So, I hope you have liked this video so please thumbs up that will that motivate me for the more that motivates me for the more videos and do subscribe which increase when when you increase my subscribers i feel like you know my my work is worth so yeah that's it thanks for watching and do subscribe